Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Lemmings World Tour! We're continuing our life as a rock star today in the rock star rank. We've gotten through half the levels in the rank now. Actually, we're well over half the levels in the rank now. And thus far, this has been an extremely strong rank. Lots of really great levels all the way through. Oh, yeah, we've only got 12 levels left. Actually, I think it's, I think it's technically 13 levels. But we're on level 28 today, Berlin, by... BL Remot Club. I probably should know what that is, or what that's abbreviating, but oh well, I don't. Alright, well, I, I recognize the German flag here. We got 80 lemmings, we gotta save all 80. A 55 release rate, that's a little unusual. And I do believe we have two giant buttons that we need to push. <laughs> and it looks like we have a giant fork on the left side of the screen. It's probably supposed to be like a famous piece, piece of architecture, but I'm just seeing a giant fork. Suicide's easy, huh? What?! That's morbid. No, it's not. And don't do it. Alright, yeah, we got a button. We got a button. Where's the exit? Oh, the exit is on top of the giant fork. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Well, clearly we're going to have to dig down and build up. No two ways about that. Getting down here and getting back up is going to be... fun. Huh. Right off the bat, we could put a blocker down and make him walk later on, so that's an option. Oh, we have to dig down pretty far before they start, before they stop splatting, eh? Alright, well first things first. We can get across there in just one builder, which is pretty cool. something like this. Hmm. We do have to watch the builder count, though. So let's say we do something like that. And we do have a floater. That's good to know. So that'll push the first button, or rather, activate the first orb, but it it looks like a button. I want to know how many builders it takes to get to the exit. Looks like it takes four builders. Okay. Okay. Four builders to reach the exit. A climber would be helpful here, but alas, beggars can't be choosers. I have an interesting idea, and we might not have to change that much of this level. You're gonna do that. Yes, yes, you will. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a builder here. That'll turn the digger around. At this point, we can max up the release rate. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dig just really, really low. Almost as low as we possibly can, and then we're gonna start bashing. No, that's not going to give him enough time. Yeah, he's going to catch up. Okay. I really didn't want to waste a bill, uh, something like that. I didn't want to waste an extra builder to stop them, so... Hmm. 
Alright. Let me try thinking about this. We definitely want a lemming who's going to the right to build. And then what I'm thinking is we can fence him out. I'm thinking fencing him out this way. We'll let him build up here. There are these tiny little pixel gaps here. And I'm thinking that's going to provide a way for him to walk up and then walk up into a basher tunnel of some kind. That's kind of what, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to start digging here. You get over it. You can start building just like that. Hmm. See, if we dig down low enough, someone will be able to walk up here. Okay. This is just purely for testing purposes. So we build basically as low as we can go. Or no, not basically. We literally will build as low as we can go. Now we're going to fence. And then he can walk back up into that tunnel. All right. That's cool. And then with a single basher that we can get them across here, someone else can dig and start building. So meaning, really the last thing we need to worry about is reaching this down here. Okay. Let's start by making a walker go this way. Alright. He's gonna build at the very edge. So what I'm waiting, okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, sweet! Yes! What we're gonna do is we're gonna dig down solo here. Okay. It's all starting to come into play. So at this point, now we can have them bash. All right, all right, all right. I was thinking of, we can let everyone go this way. Oh. That's not good. I didn't realize. Oh, yeah, but obviously they would. Okay. Okay, we're going to need an alternate plan. Unless we can... Unless we need to push the both of the buttons first. Okay, let's try... Doing something a little weird. Okay. You're going to the left. I want you to start digging from here. Okay, no, no, no. Change of plans. I want you to start digging from here. Crap. Okay. Change of plan again. You're gonna start digging from here after the basher's passed over so you don't lower him. Yes! So everyone will start falling into this pit, and this guy goes ahead and can dig further. Once we get down to a low enough point... Okay. Stuff's falling into place now. Eventually they'll get low. Okay. They're low enough now, so we can... Yeah, just like that. So now the door is open. And that was definitely a sound effect taken from Sonic uh, Free and Knuckles. I recognize that sound, so, uh, that sound effect from Sandopolis. Okay. 
Now here's the problem. We only have five builders to get them out, which is not very much. Not very much at all, actually. Are we going to have to do another series of dig, build, dig, build, and then fence all the way out? Oh man, this is a tough one. This is definitely a tricky one. Stupid fork! Guess five builders is not very many. Certainly not enough to get them all out. Although, I still have a walker. And walkers are very powerful when combined with destructive skills. Alright. No two ways about it, we absolutely need four builders to get up here. Absolutely no two ways about it. And we absolutely need a builder to get up here. It's getting to this button and then getting out, which is going to be the tricky part. Let's start do by doing something weird. We have one, two, three, four lemmings going to the left. It's actually too many. want free lemmings going this way. turn free lemmings like this. I have no idea if this is what we actually need to do or not, but this is my best guess. kind of planning is to do build, build, and then minors. Or rather, A minor. That's a music pun. Let's try building at the top of these pillars, actually. Maybe that's a perfect marker. Well, not quite a perfect marker. something like this, we can mine all the way through, and then it'll be a lot simpler getting them out of that tunnel, although this guy needs to dig a little bit lower.
Okay. Yeah, so you... Dig down to there. You start fencing out of there. You start bashing. And crank up that release rate. Oh, that sucks. We didn't dig. Okay. Well, you know what? So let me number one. We're going to delete him as digger. And instead, we're going to wait and make him a digger here. I think this is going to work. Thank goodness we have so... I'll just say this. Thank goodness we have so many diggers. Alright. You start mining there. Darn it. I do not want them clumped up together like that. That's actually very bad. Doggone it! I do not want them clumped up together like that. I need one lemming all by himself to dig and float down here. Start doing that, and you bash. Okay, now you can fence. Darn it, we can't... We need to get, have this guy reach the switch before that lemming reaches the exit. I don't like timing-based stuff like this. Or whatever. This should work. You dig, we have our one floater. Make him a floater at the end. This opens up the exit and he can go through. All the others will be able to go through and now we have enough builders to get them out. Wowie zowie, that was a tough level. Holy cow. Almost the entire video is going to be spent just on that level, but, but we did it. We were able to solve it, but wow. Definitely a tougher level than the ones we've seen previously. Every once in a while, you just get a level that, like, comes out of nowhere at you. Just like a big fastball, just like, whoosh! Knocking, you off, knocking your socks off. Whew. That was a tricky one, for sure. A lot, of fiddly, a lot of fiddling needed to be done to make that solution work, but it was a cool level. No doubt about that. But it's... 
timing-based stuff like that is not so much my favorite, but it was fun trying to suss out what to do. Did enjoy that one. Level 29, Hollywood Hills by Sunrise Avenue. Well, uh, we got 30 lemmings, we got to save 27. Well, I am not a fan of Hollywood myself for a variety of reasons, but that's a cool-looking sign, and I like the American flag. It looks... <laughs> So, this, this is definitely an interesting-looking level. I think this is one of the levels that was, uh, like, as used as a teaser for the pack. So, I remember looking at it and being like, wow, this looks pretty cool. Oh, we got a locked release rate of 99. It's my favorite re release rate. I do not like stackers at this release rate, though. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, right off the bat, we can climb, dig, and bomb. Okay, I actually... I don't think this level's gonna be all that difficult. Famous last words. It's just going to be finding a way to hold these guys back. That's going to be the only tricky part. But I see the whole rest of the solution afterwards. At least I think I do. Yeah, it's literally just going to be a case of keeping these lemmings from walking off screen. Actually, I think with these with the help of a stacker, we can do that. I didn't want you to blow up that much of it. Oh wait, oh I know, I know, I know, I know! Well, actually... That holds them back, but now there's no way of getting them out. Also, that just made it harder to get through here. Such a simple skill set, it is deceptively difficult. Okay, interesting. That's a way of doing... Okay, interesting. So let's do something like that.
That'll hem them in. Okay. Getting them up and out is going to be tricky. Not entirely sure how we'll, how we'll do that. Now, if we do something like that, I think we'll be able to walk up this. Yeah! Hmm. Interesting. I do like that. That's that's a very cool thing that we can do there. Climber plus digger plus bomber lets us do that. Oh, wait a second. Hang on. I do believe your good friend Artie was overcomplicating things. We can literally have the last one just stack and then climb. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, I did not want you to turn around there. That's actually kind of bad. Oh, no, it's not. You can do that. And now you'll be the one to bomb to let them all up. Oh, this is actually really cool! That's actually really cool! And now we have the last living climb. And then once he gets to a point where... Yes, right there. He did gets to dig down. And then for the sake of... America. We'll let him get low enough down, like here, and everyone gets to go home! Okay, that was, that was actually really fun. <laughs> Using the terrain to your advantage on that level. Once I figured out this stacker at the beginning, I'm like, wait, the crowd is small enough that I can just stack late in the crowd, everyone goes over it, then climb over it. That made the level a lot more manageable, and then everything else fell into place pretty quickly. I always admire a level that, like, has kind of weird terrain, and you need to use that to your advantage. But it's not, like, in a weird terrain... It's not weird terrain in such a way that, like, it's super inhibiting and, like, makes things just not work. It's weird terrain that, like, you actually really have to think creatively, like, all right, how can I use this to my advantage? Or how can I work around it? And you get a level like that, and that was, that was a lot of fun. Very nicely done. Two rather tricky levels today. We only got for two, as opposed to, like, the four or five we had last video. But what you're going to do with Lemmings, it's a puzzle game. You're going to have some ups and downs. You're going to have some levels that are really easy and some levels that are really hard. Some that will take almost no time to solve and some that will take a while. And often, oftentimes, the levels that determine that just depend on which levels you happen to find easy. So that's just something to be expected. That's it for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We are finally on Rockstar Level 30! At least I think we're on Level 30. We are. It's called Losing My Religion. Well, I guarantee you that won't happen to me next episode. I might be playing a level called that, but I don't intend on giving up my religious beliefs, so I am pretty strong in those. So we'll just have to see what's up with that next time on Lemmings World Tour. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.